The story starts showing Hex, who is becoming weaker with age, requests a magic merchant to make him younger during a stormy night. Hex assaults him when he declines. He receives water from the Fountain of Youth from the shopkeeper, who also instructs him on where to obtain more. The Tennysons are in Street Augustine, where De Liam believed a brook to be the Fountain of Youth. Max isn't able to read signs. Gwen objects when Ben makes light of Max's aging. Max decides to visit a dunk tank at a funfair since he is becoming overheated. But the attendant, Hector, forbids him. Hector gives in to his demands only grudgingly. Ben dunks Max on the third attempt, which worries Hector. Hex shows up and terrorizes everyone. Ben and Gwen are launched into the air, and he chases the attendant. He soaks Max and Ben after destroying the dunk tank. While Max aids the attendant, Ben changes into Cannon Bolt and strikes Hex, sending him flying. Max defends Hector from Hex as Cannon Bolt, and Hex engage in combat. Hex is surrounded by Gwen and Cannon Bolt, but as he vanishes, Cannon Bolt turns back into Ben. Max gets pinned under the teacup ride. He is 10 years old when Ben and Gwen liberate him. Max acts childishly because he's happy to be a kid again, which annoys Gwen. Max forbids Gwen from getting her spellbook as she approaches. Gwen is looking for a spell in the rust bucket that would convert Max back into an elderly man. The three set out to investigate Gwen's theory that Max may have been affected in some way by the water. Massive volumes of oxygen and carbon are absorbed by them. A piece that has the manufacturer's address is discovered by Gwen. When the police show there, Ben changes into a youthful version of Four Arms, and the Tennysons flee. According to Gwen, Four Arms was also made youthful by the sea. When they arrive at the location in the rust bucket, Four Arms transforms back into four-year-old Ben. They get there, the producer. When Ben begins to whine like a four-year-old, they discover the attendant restrained. A bulldozer robot is created by Hex, who is hiding nearby, and sent after the Tennyson. Ben becomes a younger version of Wild Mutt and assaults the robot. It collapses when he climbs the structure and begins to rip it apart. Hex is later found in a water-filled cave. The trees there are uprooted by him. Hex is pursuing the Fountain of Youth, which Hector claims is under his care. He claims that while he utilizes the water to extend his life, it is more of a curse than a gift since he was unable to fall in love and have a family of his own because they would eventually get old and pass away while he wouldn't. A plant comes to life, snatches everyone in the car, and blows it up as Wilmot transforms back into Ben as they go to the location where Hex is in Hector's vehicle. Ben changes into a younger version of Stinkfly. Stinkfly sprays gas on the plants to destroy them, and the gang flees into the cave where Hex is hiding the Fountain of Youth. The cave begins to cave in. Hex appears out of the ocean. Hex effortlessly deflects a spell that Gwen unleashes, sending the party flying. Ben is prodded by Gwen to become Heat Blast, who then assaults Hex, but is repelled by Hex. Heat Blast snaps and goes supernova out of rage. Hex is submerged in water as the fountain begins to evaporate and bursts, sending him flying. Max and Ben will soon become normal, according to Hector. They go back to the rust bucket when it happens. Charmcaster enjoys having control over a young Hex in other places, and this story ends here.